DJ Ho2, new stuff, social side. We've got mic support, but this time we've mic'd up all the lyrics. So you can actually sing along, get scored. Music, we've gone really broad with the music. We've kind of balanced out the kind of the hip hop. Now we've got a load of hip hop still, but we've also got electronica and dance kind of in there at an even level. This time out, all the samples are taken from the mixes you're actually in. And they're not necessarily repeated, so they're relevant to that particular part of the track. So there's a much more authentic feel to each of the samples, which has allowed us to score it much more kind of comprehensively, I guess. So what we wanted to do is allow people to kind of play around with things, but for it to then not kind of step too far out of sync and, and sound strange from an audio perspective. Um, so again, we're feeling people are much more connected to the music. <laughs> Everything can play two player, so you've got much more support for the turntable side of things. We've got a whole bunch of competitive and co-op game modes as well, so we're kinda, we want to give people reason to play together cooperatively, but also there's that kind of fan base that really wants to beat each other, whether it's online or in the living room, so we're kind of focused on a whole bunch of multiplayer modes as well. Yeah, so battle mode's really cool, so it's kind of really set in that DMC style. So whilst we've kind of broadened the, the scope of the music and we've balanced out the kind of electronic and dance and hip hop, DMC sits, the, the battle mode sits firmly in DMC style. So it's call and answer. I'll play a bit, then you'll have to replay that same kind of piece, but with its own finite differences. So we kind of allow each person to then build on what the other person did. And then you've got freestyle sections through that as well where you can kind of better each other. But what we've done is we've kind of placed those freestyle sections after some, like a pattern. So you can kind of encourage you to try and redo that pattern. And you end up having that kind of real DMC feel to it. Probably the thing I'm most excited about is, is, um, is all the freestyle stuff. Because we kind of spent a lot of time at the beginning of the project trying to go, right, let's let people get more creative. And then also let's focus on making them all sound really cool and be connected. So we wanted to kind of expand on the kind of the DSP effect and the freestyle sample on DJ1. So we've really expanded by adding freestyle scratch and freestyle crossfade. So freestyle scratch, similar to freestyle sample, it's, in all, it's marked up in various sections. And basically what you do is as soon as you enter that section, hold that button down and just play around. So you know, you can go super quick, you can be super slow, you can release and re-trigger the button and you'll re-trigger the sample so you can get those kind of stutter effects and things like that going on. And then Freestyle Crossfade, pretty much like Real DJ does, you know, we play both tracks together, you see the, you'll see the big glows on the highway open up and you can just crossfade between both. But what we've done is we've kind of added little markers in there to show you where certain phrases start and end. And you can hit them if you want, so it kind of gives you that vocal cue, so you can completely customise it. You perhaps know where that Lady Gaga vocal is, or you'll know where that Dr. Dre sample is, or something like that, or that beat. And then you can just hit those things, and that all relates to the scoring. So there's this scoring mechanic underneath that if we feel you've done a really good score, then you'll get a huge spark at the end, and that'll go towards your end score. DJ Hero 2 is coming out in the fall, and it's going to be on the Wii, 360, and PS3. Your friend was a